Hello, my beautiful Sagittariuses. Welcome to your Love Forecast horoscope for uh, May 24th to the 29th. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a personal reading with me, a live person reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. And if you guys are a fan of the mysteries or unsolved true crime stories, you may want to check out my second YouTube channel, JWZ Mysteries, and all the information is in the description box below. All right, so what are we going to talk about today? We're going to be talking about the day-to-day, -day, the love interest feelings, the box delays and challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's get right in. All right, what's on my Sagittarius is romantic love life for May 24th to the 29th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. I'm hearing a Christina Aguilera song. It sing, come on over, come on over, baby. <laughs> see, as I said, you can't make this stuff up. Oh my goodness. And what do we see is the first card there, but the Ace of Wands energy. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. All right. Five of Pentacles, uh, Page of Swords, Gemini Libra, Christ energy. <laughs> Knight of Wands. Mm -hmm. Queen of Wands. And a two of wands and a four of swords. Okay, so this is going to be your love interest feelings. This is the blockage this week. This is the overall energy. If you guys know the lyrics to that song, please put in the comments below and I will pin your comment. Okay, so you see that there is some optimistic signs coming in for you guys. Very hopeful signs around someone who is feeling really sad and heartbroken with the Three of Swords energy. Now, some of you could work with this person, but we're gonna see more energy here and see what this is about. I'm gonna use this deck over here. All right, so I was gonna use the Kipper, but let's use this deck. What's gonna have my Sagittarius romantic love life for May 24th to the 29th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's put that aside for a second. I really want to look at what is this decision about for the blockage here? So someone's doing a lot of reflecting, trying to bring things into balance. Justice can be just choice, just decision, marriage, divorce. Okay, so there's a decision that needs to be made here. Okay, why is justice here? Someone feels justified in their decision. What is this about? So actions, should I be patient? Is there love here? I'm highly emotional about the situation. I want to bring things into harmony. Okay. So there's a lot of energy being put behind the situation. Okay. So let's put this aside for a second here and we can see the Ace of Wands here. So as you guys can see, this is going to be on the 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, the 30th. So Sagittarius, feel free. Come back. Check this out. Let me know how it plays out in your individual situations in the comments below. If the day-to-day -day is confusing at all, just stick with me till the end. I'm going to go over the overall outcome. I'll make it very clear cut as well as some advice and also your romantic love interest feelings and more extensively into the blockage. So, and if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. All right. So we got this Ace of Wands, okay? And you can see, hmm. now I see why that song was coming out for you guys. Come on over, come on over, baby. Okay, we got the Ace of Wands, and uh, someone definitely got some passion on the mind there, okay? And it's somebody that you are aware of before because why do I always, I feel like you guys are working with this person though. I feel like you guys are working with this person. Okay. Because this is like a boss, an employee here relationship going on and it's something financial involved with this somehow. Okay. Or this could be somebody that you have known before and there's some kissing and making up going on there. Okay. Let's uh, see what that's about. What's going to have my Sagittarius' romantic love life for May 24th to 29th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. It's a pretty abrupt decision here. Okay. It's a pretty sudden, abrupt decision. What else is going on here? Okay. So there's an offer, an opportunity presenting itself about creativity and passion. 
to kiss and make up or to butter you up for some of you guys, okay? Because it could be a brand new situation with the Ace of Wands. Um, but this definitely seems like you guys know each other. Okay, so set up my Sagittarius of Brown's like Love Life, May 24th to 29th. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. One more time here. Me too. Okay, perfect. Okay. Let's put that there. Yeah, it's like I want to clear the air. I want to open things up between us. Okay. There's a person concerned about losing out on an opportunity or an offer here. You see the key card there? Key. Do I have the key to your heart? Can I open things up? So, all right, let's see what that's about. Someone's trying to overwhelm you on this day. Okay. Because of their sense of loss or concern about losing out. And because this seems to be a very forced issue, it looks like you're going to have to decide something very soon about it. You're getting communication, letter, message, or document, Sagittarius. Now, I feel like this person could it be could be younger than you, okay? Or you're feeling like the situation's a little bit immature, or you're feeling a little bit naive about this. Uh, with the Page of Swords, or from others of you, this may be a person that's a little bit outside of your wheelhouse, or this is a new understanding, new concept for you with the uh, Page of Swords. And again, it's talking about new idea, new concept about being lost, being left out in the cold, afraid of something being taken away. Okay, you're definitely, your intuition is tuning in on this situation here on the 26th, so pay attention to your dreams and the signs here around the situation. Because there is a person that really, really does just want your attention. They want a lot of your attention. And <laughs> we know why, okay? They're trying to get you alone, okay? For some passionate exercises there, okay? Because what do we got next? <laughs> the, not a wand, the Knight of Wands energy coming out, okay, Sagittarius? So, so on the 27th, uh, there could be some potential passionate exercises there, okay? And we see, yep, we see two people together there. Um, we see a relationship, love, and an opportunity presenting itself on the 27th. And someone's trying to be very flexible towards this opportunity. Okay. So uh, definitely you guys are very much attracting other options to you. We got the Queen of Wands energy. You're just, you're just doing your thing and just so many people are noticing you, okay, on the 28th. You're just shining very brightly, you're very sexy, very attractive kind of energy, Sagittarius. So going further on this, mm -hmm. definitely got some options here, okay, with the key card energy. See, multiple options, something, and, and you can pick and choose what you want here with the situation, all right? And um, we can go further on this. So you're trying to be patient. You're trying to figure things out. You're trying to make sure you're making the right choice. That's what I feel like. And you're deeply thinking about the whole situation. So because this other situation, this person's trying to rush things, you're kind of like considering about um, making a choice towards the future here. And you're like, okay, I guess I'm going to have to make some kind of decision here. So because of this house, this foam, the stable situation, because some of you guys work with this person. So it has to do with stability, stableness, and they could also be close to home there with the house card energy. Okay, and we see, I wanna be more than just friends, okay. And I don't wanna lose you. I don't wanna be left out in the cold here. Some of you guys could be spending some time with friends also at a house on that day and uh, you're just trying to decide some things about the situation because you're doing some deep, heavy soul searching. So I can see it that way as well too. But you can see that there is somebody that is trying to, uh, you know, they're thinking about you. There, there definitely is a lot of thinking or thoughts about you with the Four of Swords energy. And this is on the 30th. And yes, yeah, someone's seeing you as you are the wisest decision for me. I'm trying to be patient. You can see there's someone in the background that's very rambunctious, trying to kind of get you to take some kind of action here, right? You're like, I need to think about this. I need to take a rest. I need to be, take a break. I need to make sure I make the wise decision here. 
They're kind of like looking, I feel like they're kind of like, well, come on, come on, come on, kind of energy to me. It's like a lot of energy being put behind this. Okay, so we see that there's this soulmate relationship kind of energy coming out and trying to resolve some kind of issues around it. Okay, so let's talk about it. Okay, Sagittarius, I wanna open the, I want to open the door and clear the air here. You're getting some kind of communication. This person wants to get your attention. They're trying to get you to be flexible and possibly repeat a, a, a pattern again, okay? You're deeply knowing that you, uh, there's been this loss, this sense of being left out in the cold, or you left this person out in the cold and it's like they want to resolve this, okay? And it's somebody that you got some chemistry with, okay? Okay, so. Let's go further. All right, let me move this out of the way. Okay. Abrupt decision, oh, yeah, suddenly. Something's gonna happen suddenly very fast. You, very soon you see you're gonna have to make a decision. Listen, you're listening to your intuition and you're seeing some kind of signs here with the spiritual card energy. You're like, all right, is this destined to be? There's an opportunity presenting itself and it's like, I should be patient. We see that there could be multiple people here because this is like three of cups energy for my deck. So it could be saying celebration, uh, friendship, more than just a friend, okay? And or there's multiple people here and there's definitely someone here that wants some kind of relationship, okay? So we got the soulmate connection next to it. Okay, so let's bring it together here. And let's look at the bottom of the deck too. You make me happy. Okay, so somebody you've dealt with before, this memories of the past, someone from the past, you're the best decision, I wanna commit. And as I said, there's money and finance and also a lot of passion involved with this situation. Lots of soul searching, communication coming in. Okay, kissing and making up, you're overwhelmed. This person's overwhelming you uh, because there's concerns about losing this love connection and opportunities presenting itself. We see house, home, something stable, needing to make the wisest decision around this situation. Okay. Okay. Definitely you can see there's a person that's like, mm hmm What do they got on their mind? What do they got on their mind, Sagittarius? And the sense of loss now has given this person new perspective, new understanding of the situation. They're coming in hot, coming in passionate there, okay? Very passionate. And you are now realizing your, your value and worth. So if you've dealt with this person in the same capacity, which it does seem like you have, this time you're like, no, I know my value and work. I'm, I'm not going to, to just jump into anything. I'm gonna make a decision here. You can see this person has a lot of thoughts. They're thinking about you. And this could be you saying, okay, I need to think about this. I need to look at the long term here, right? With the Four of Swords energy to make this decision. Right, if we come back to the, the blockage, it's like you gotta make a decision, justice. Okay, and if we look at the numbers, if an opportunity presents itself, five talks about some kind of challenge or change, pages talk about new ideas, new understandings of this passionate action. We see patient energy and a choice that will be made around stability and stableness for card energy. Okay, so. Let's check out what's going on with your love interest, whoever that is. Okay. Uh, okay, so your love interest is like, whoever this is, Sagittarius, they're like, Sagittarius, you make me very happy. I have a good time with you. I love living in the moment, doing stuff with you. You're a lot of fun. And I want to travel toward you. I have strong desires for a victory here. Um, and also this person sees you as a potential love connection or wants some kind of communication. Yep, letter, message, or document, very disappointed, wants to fulfill their desires here, okay. They don't know where they stand with you, Sagittarius. They want to apologize or reconcile or heal the situation when the timing is right. Okay, let's go further on this. I wanna argue and fight with you. Um, I want you to make some kind of choice so we can have a creative solution so we can come together. Okay, some of you, they may want to start a family also or just find a creative way to fix this situation. Okay, so let's move this out of the way, Sagittarius. And let's find out 
What's going on with this blockage? Let's get more information about this blockage. All right, justice, okay, main person, okay. And we got, will this opportunity make me happy, happy? Do they have feelings for me? Is there a real romance here? So obviously we can see when the cards are saying there's a lot of passion going on, lots of chemistry with this person. But I feel like you're like, all right, if I do this, make this decision here, is there potential for me to get what I want? And does this person have feelings? Okay, so is there love here? Let's move this out of the way. So obviously you've got to make a decision this week. Let's look at the overall outcome here. So this is really going to shock you. Uh, this could really shake you up here with the tower card energy and leave you at a crossroads about what to do because you feel like your hands are tied around the situation like you're trapped in your thoughts because a lot of things have happened here and this person wants to bring things back together and we see their secrets around this situation okay the concern is that they're lying to you uh, when it comes to the sense of happiness but you would be happy so you're having a lot of self-doubt and you have concerns that maybe they're lying or there's some kind of deceptive or sneaky slyness going on but you're happy that they want to make the effort, okay? Say, so I want to bring things into balance. I want to talk with you about this to heal the situation. So they're trying to resolve it. Healing. This is, this is passionate nature, guys, okay? Um, yeah, <laughs> it's passionate nature. So it looks like in the, in the middle of the week there on the 27th, something suddenly is going to happen abrupt in a passionate way there. Because if you can see here that, mm -hmm. just take these cards literal, okay? Mm, sneaky and slyness, all of a sudden, some sh massive shock and surprise, okay. Yep, and we see victory getting your attention. You get some kind of clarity, answers about these regrets about the past. And we see luck is on your side, timing is right, and we see you've got the devil card energy. Mm -hmm. Temptations, okay? Strong attachment as I was talking about earlier uh, or what the other sign one of the other signs when I was telling you guys to cross watch um, this is like the vampire card there it's like so sexy and alluring okay so we see that there is this connection and you do feel like you're connecting with this person and uh, we see that there is something to do with this soulmate connection here So you can see like the timing is right and there's a strong temptation and we see something about choices here um, or a relationship with the two of cups energy. Definitely some passionate situation going on. All of a sudden you're really shocked and surprised about how this person wants to heal the situation. And there's strong temptations here in this relationship because it's like this person feels like a soulmate connection or there is a want to have this relationship. We see a soulmate or a relationship being offered here. Um, so we see romance here and a happy energy of memories of the past, something to do with the past, okay? So it is somebody you've known before, okay? And you can even see um, deceptions, lying, sneaky, sly behavior. I wanna bring this into balance and I regret what happened. All right, so you're really happy about this conversation, but you're still at a crossroads because of things this person did before. And we see that you wanna make the effort or this person wants to make the effort to heal the situation. Now, for some of you, you could be concerned with the Knight of Wands energy, is this person being a player, right? Do they have more than one person here? Um, or you guys have options here with the, the people card. Okay, so we see all of a sudden, the shock and surprise about this person who wants to get your attention. The timing is right. Wheel of Fortune. There's a blessing here, okay? Things are moving in your favor or luck is on your side. You're at a crossroad. You get some kind of clarity and we see there's strong desires and strong temptations with this person. Okay, strongly tempted by this person. All right, so we see my hands are tied. I regret what happened with this situation. And we see there's something to do with a soulmate connection or relationship, or you guys are interested more in a long-term relationship, okay? Or you feel like your hands are tied, or some of you guys are like, really, this time here, um, I'm stuck in my thoughts about the situation. I feel like my back's against the wall. 
um, and this person's like, I really feel regretful about what happened and I really want to make this choice with my heart, with, with the Two of Cups energy. I want to be on the same level here when it comes to love, which is why the blockage seems to be about is there feelings here and is there going to be love when it comes to this decision that you make. All right, so can I suggest my Sagittarius for the highest, best good, for the best possible outcome of them? When it comes to their love life for May 24th to the 29th, show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, Sagittarius, let's see here. Okay, see, two, well, be very beautiful and attractive and have fun. Socialize. Something will come to light. When it comes to messages, heal the situation. We see there's a lot of distractions here, or don't get distracted. We see a relationship and lots of possibilities, guys. Listen to your intuition, pay attention to the signs. We see family in long term and an opportunity presenting itself. There is a destiny here. End a situation, ending a situation, or I feel like it's also kind of saying to me, or feeling like to me, that you guys have to assert yourself and realize your value and your worth. Treat yourself like you're up here, okay? Because we got this crown energy and put their energy behind that. And we see abundance of possibilities for you guys. And definitely there is a relationship or something that will bring some things into balance for you guys and an achievement here and a connection. Yeah, you're, you, can, you can definitely get what you want here. So I wouldn't rush into making any decision with this person, okay, just from what I can see there with your advice, um, Sagittarius. Um, I would socialize and I wouldn't give this person an answer right away. Let them know that you, um, you know, you're up here, keep yourself at that level, uh, lay your line in the sand here, what you truly want, and don't let this person cross the line like they did before. For some of you guys, I know that, that some of you guys are going to tell me in the comments that that's not how it went down for me. That's okay. This is that specific person I'm, I'm addressing to at this moment. However, you want to make sure that you're keeping yourself up here. You're realizing your value and your worth, okay? And really look to your heart and follow your intuition because you're gonna be given some signs. Pay attention to those signs um, of, of the going with the right person or picking the right person here because it looks like you do have multiple options here in, in this situation here this week. So you can pick and choose, okay? I know you have this strong temptation for this person from before because you have a lot of chemistry and passion with them However, they need to see your value and your worth, so don't rush into anything with this person, if you can help it, okay? But of course, I'm only here as guidance, guys, so you don't have to follow my advice if you don't want to, because you guys know what's best for you. I just love you guys, and um, I love you guys so much, and I definitely want you guys to just follow your heart and listen to your intuition, and believe me, you know exactly what to do here, all right? All right, my darlings, if you like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Also, my beautiful Sagittariuses, I do read my comments, guys. So, I do want to hear from you guys in the comments below. This is quite a week. Okay, it's quite a week. So, definitely want to hear from you guys in the comments below. If you claim this message, this resonates with you, or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.